In this video, I try Kwai No, which is a miso delicacy, which is essentially made out of baby bees. And in the second half of the video, I attempt to make Dup, which is a miso material that's essentially made out of bamboo. I was just going past these couple of ladies here behind me, and they're doing something that I've never seen before. Check this out. So this is like bees. Here's a bee, for example, that's just coming out. Um, and they're special bees to Mizoram, and apparently this is a delicacy here. So, what the delicacy here is, it's not the honey, rather it's the, the bees larvae, or the bees babies. I don't actually know what to call bee babies. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the bees babies, and it's actually these which they eat. Uh, and so, yeah, pretty much the way they do it is they pick them out. Now, I suppose it's something like this, and then there's a bee baby right there, a baby bee, and then they just kind of like stack them all up, um, and kapi, hey he, do do one. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like they grab their heads, like this, and then maybe like grabbing their heads. Like, anyway, um, and oh my goodness, I have a phobia. Yes. <laughs> so um, these these are the actual actual bees. Oh, I suppose these are the ones that are just growing up. Yeah. Ah, kashatium. Um, and so how do I try them? Do I literally just eat it live? No, no, no. You're supposed to cook them. Oh, we're meant to cook them. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna cook some and then we're gonna eat it later. So I, I thought we we're gonna eat it like right now, like that. Kapi, can I eat it like no. right now? Um, I, 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 I it no. Okay, so we shouldn't eat it. Okay, no. fair enough. Um, yeah, trying new things. Mm. So here we've put the baby bees inside a pot and it looks like we're just going to simply boil it. Yeah. Looks like we boil it for about 15 minutes and then strain the water and eat it. So the baby bees have finished boiling. Uh, now I'm going to try them. Oh, they're kind of... The flavour is, the smell of it is kind of like... Hmm, I've smelled that smell before, but I can't put my finger on what it smells like. Anyway, it's not about the smell, it's about the flavour. So let's try out one of these baby bees, huh? There you go. Right there. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's not nice at all. This is not tasty. I don't know why people like this. Anyway, I've tried it out. There you go. I probably won't ever have this again, but there's a first for everything. So apparently I was eating it incorrectly. The correct way is you're meant to rip off his, his little head like this and then squeeze out the guts and it's actually the guts which you're meant to have and not necessarily the skin. It's still not that nice. I mean, maybe some people, I can see some people liking it, but it's not for me. It's not a treat. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All done. I'm going to be making this special material called dup. That dup is a material that's made out of bamboo that's been essentially broken up into small little strips and flattened out. And you can do things like create fences, walls, all sorts of different things. Um, but it's just a really handy uh, way to convert bamboo, which is circular, into something that's uh, a bit more planar. So, this is pretty much how we do it. I've already been given a very, very brief, uh, vague uh, introduction by this lady here. This is my dup mystery. Say, so, say hello, hello to her. Hello, hello. Um, and essentially, this is this is the tool that you need. This is a special gut dup cutting tool. Um, essentially, it's just a bit of bamboo with a bit of steel sticking out of it at the end that's sharpened and uh, and then this is the bamboo that we're going to convert into dub so she wants me to sit sit on here 
and, and to use the corner of the tool. And do I just go around like this? Yeah, I was, I was too greedy. I have to do smaller ones by the looks of things. So obviously I've been doing it bad because I do it on an angle. It's splitting, it's splitting the bamboo a bit, so I need to make sure it's straight. I think at the end here, you just kind of got to mash it a bit more. Instead of like being so like pedantic about it. Yeah. Oh. You must have done your apprenticeship, now you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I'm getting to the end of my length of bamboo now. Shut up. She's speaking Hindi to me. Oh, Hindi, I'm not Hindi, I'm not Hindi, I'm not Hindi, I'm not Hindi, <laughs> All right. So, so, so now we have to get rid of these bits, right? And pretty much to get rid of these bits, we just whack them like this, right? Mm. I was a bit, I was a bit too greedy oh. here. And I've split it. Mm. So there is some finesse that's required to get this done right. So let's try it with this one. Mm. Ah, sorry. Looks like I've just lost. So what's just happened is, while I was whacking it, this little thing's come up. I, I assume it's pretty normal to happen. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a straight edge, and there's a oh, curved oh. edge, and the curved edge goes on top. Mm, she can't walk. Yeah. Because the thing is like, obviously every piece of bamboo is going to be different and when you have different bamboo, there's new unique challenges that come along with it. So as you can see, like, I've cut them here, where this strip here was very easy. So yeah, that's kind of like, it's, it's, it's part of the practice, right? So the more you do it, the, be the better you get, obviously. But in terms of my very first one, I don't know, I don't think I did too bad, besides maybe just here. So yeah, I think that's it. And then the final step is just to like, make it straight. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos of me trying different cultural things, please subscribe and you'll be seeing more of this type of stuff. Also, let me know how you think I went in the comments with 
the dup making and uh, also let me know if you've tried baby bees before because it was definitely a first for me and let me know if you like them or not. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.